Fisher's a charismatic forest carnivore that, frankly, I love him. On Thursday, December 8th, 2011, state and federal biologists moved a step closer to achieving their goal of returning the Pacific Fisher to its historical range in the northern Sierra Nevada mountains. That's when biologists from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, California Department of Fish and Game, released four fishers in a forest near Chico, California. Fishers are members of the weasel family and are about the size of a large house cat, and they're just as quick, too. The fishers were released to land owned by Sierra Pacific Industries, a partner in a long-term multi-agency effort to improve the outlook for fishers, a species whose numbers have been on the decline for several years. Biologists believe relocating fishers to areas where they once thrived will improve the species population and prevent fishers from being listed as a threatened or endangered species. Reintroductions are probably going to be one of the main tools to restore these animals to their historical range because they do not appear to be rapidly growing, expanding uh, under their own means. This translocation is one of many carried out by biologists, but it's special in its own right. Here, the 39th fisher was released, just one fisher shy of the goal of returning 40 to the Sierra Nevada. Well, fishers in California are absent from a substantial part, portion of their historical range. And this effort is intended to reintroduce them into one area where they've been absent for nearly a century. And we view that as very important to, for the conservation of the species. That effort has helped most of the previous translocated 21 females and 14 male fishers to survive in their translocation areas. Fishers selected to be translocated come from several different counties to prevent centralized population loss. Research shows that the lower um, heterozygosity, genetic diversity that you have in a founder population, the more likely it is to, to go extinct, especially with, with relatively small starting populations like we have with 40. So we try to get as many animals out there with as much diversity in their genetics as possible. As far as the future of the fisher, well, it looks promising. I think this is, this is really one species that active conservation, active management is going to take us a long way. Reporting for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, I'm Kenesha Allen.